Hello and welcome. I am the Sun Tai Dip and Chew Guy, and this is an entry onto the Euro Snooze playlist. Euro European Snooze playlist. Before I get to this, I do not like cross referencing anymore anyway on reviews, but to let you all know, instead of putting up a separate video, the sneak peek video with link to the sneak peek will be uploaded onto YouTube on Thursday night. It'll be an extra night of content this week. Anyway, moving on. This is Jacobson's. This is a made in Sweden product made solely for the US market, okay? So there's not gonna be much reference to Europe or Sweden on it except for one spot on the banding and a nod to it by the manufacturer on the back, the person that's meant, the, the company that's manufacturing it. Everything else is gonna look sort of set for the American market because it is made solely for the American market. So this is, distributed by the northerner okay and that's where i got it from i got it in my last order i have been using them again their prices are still ridiculous when it comes to the taxes they put on products that said in their defense they have dropped their shipping fees if you're in the lower 48 states okay so that crazy $19.96 or whatever it was shipping, which was especially disturbing to me considering I am an hour and a half south of their warehouse, that is gone now, all right? Their prices, for my own personal use, they, they have the products I personally use, but even... I would have to be very hard up to order from them at their prices, okay? Um, now, as far as content for the channel, I sort of have to on some things. So, you know, as much as I complain about them and have complained in the past, on some things, there is no way around it. They are just the easier, softer option. Anyway, so they distribute this, and as far as I know... That's the only way you can get this, all right? So looking at the front, it's pretty straightforward. There is an older style, small, fairly deep catch leg for used pouches. The reason why they have these here, you cannot make it out on here. This is made out as a compass, all right? Like a boat's compass. So it's a pretty... It, it, it's the older style, smaller, this way, catch lid, but it's deeper than some of the newer ones. On the side, they have banding. It is all pretty straightforward, the flavor, and that this is Swedish snus. Their little boat thing. 20 pouches is denoted on the side and made in Sweden. Branding. And then an American warning label. Okay, not much on the band. Everything is on the back. Now, I will be going over some of it. Uh, I'm not going to read the story. Uh, I'm not going to go into all, all, all the really, really tiny, tiny print on this. Uh, so, basically, you have the net weight de denoted right there. It is a 0.71 ounce can, Okay. Strong mint is denoted on the other side of the barcode here, and underneath that is the tax class. It is tax class M, which sort of makes sense to me, but now I'm wondering, I, I, I don't remember what tax class is on the general products. Now, general products would be also Swedish manufacturer for basically solely the American market with wider distribution through gas stations and etc but i i don't i, I the, the tax class on them doesn't stick out my mind so i have to dig out some cans and check that out underneath the barcode there is the best buy date okay 
So that's November 4th, 2021. So this is only about a month out. Above the barcode is a website. Now, I've never heard of this website before. It doesn't seem directly linked to the Northerner by the looks of its name. I have not checked it out, but that is saying www.snusinfo.com. All right. And along the outer sides here is basically, you know, underage sales prohibited sales only allowed in the United States. It also has there the ingredients and the fact that this is made by for rather the northerner of Orfield, PA, which that's new on me too. Their warehouse which I believe is still their main U.S. United States warehouse, is in Mechanicsburg, PA. Orfield is new to me. I'm not familiar with that area overly. It's probably something right next door, I'm guessing. Okay? And then really, really small, and you'll never be able to read it. It's manufactured by Gotland's Snus... AB, which is a Swiss manufacturer. So this is strong mint. I'm going to open it up. It's got a really rubbery band that's cutting really easy. 20 pouches inside. It cut really easy. That That's one of the smoother cuts of anything I've ever done. So to tell you the truth, I do not know what this cost after taxes over at their website. It was somewhere around five bucks before the taxes, but it wasn't that after. Um, so you can see where I cut right there. With the catch lids and whatnot, these snooze cans and, and European snooze cans in general, it's almost like they're, they're always all plastic and it's almost like they're two halves. It's not a lid and a can. It's sort of two halves of a can. So... There we go. Oh, wow, they're big. Whoa. <laughs> they're big and smell-wise strong. Moisture level looks high. Um, I'm a little surprised. I wasn't quite sure what I... I knew they were not white portions, but that's a little more than I was expecting. Uh, there's even staining, and you were not going to be able to see that. Do you see the compass there? That brown smudge-like stuff, that's actually staining off the pouches where the catch lid was pressing on them. So the pouches look like they're white material or like a cottage white with just natural staining from the tobacco. So the seams at the end there are the natural pouch material and everything else is either tobacco or staining from it. They're pretty good-sized pouches, actually. They're really strong smell. There is a strong mint coming off this. I can smell it. It's down on the desk right now. So they're a little bit smaller, lighter than a dip pouch. But these are pretty good. And the moisture, yeah, the moisture level, I can tell on my lip. So I'm going to throw this in up top, and I'll probably have to move it around the side. I'm going to hit the pause button, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and I am back. Okay, so actually this has turned out to be pretty good. I wasn't quite sure what to expect here. I knew the product was most likely made in Sweden, but to the extent that it was being marketed for the U.S. and since it was coming through that website, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um... I thought there might have been a chance that this was something leaning towards an American product, like like the Skull Mint, okay? Snooze. It's not. It's actually real snooze. It is in a pretty large pouch, which they've probably made sure that was... Although, you know what? A lot of the snooze pouches lately 
would seem to be larger to me all right from from 10 years ago they seem all to be larger unless they are denoted as mini or slim they all seem to be larger um so the pouches are pretty good size now that's going to play well in the u.s market all right they are not as big as a dip pouch though of any sort okay they're not as big as grizzly the kodiak product copenhagen skull they're not they're they're actually close to the pouch size but they are not filled the same way there is less in them this in the mouth there is a very strong cooling sensation and somewhere there it meets a pretty zingy contact feel spot nicotine absorption all right now where the cool sensation ends and the contact begins it's not quite clear okay uh, there is a lot of mouthfeel i would not be able to keep this up front up top i have not put it down bottom yet though either so it's not completely out of hand uh in the thing this is not general they are not in a spiral they are thrown in there all right uh they have a good amount of nicotine in them all right they they i i i i feel safe saying that the flavor is a pretty strong right from the gate mint okay there is no it's a, a lot of the drier products it takes a little while for the flavor to get going that's why i pause on these even though there's really no need to finger wise or anything cleaning off um but this had flavor basically as soon as i put it in so you know that's always good um nicotine is definitely there the pouch material is comfortable and all i i've never really run into pouch material that wasn't comfortable some of the stuff in the pouches has been mentally uncomfortable but i've never like people are like oh the pouch material is really comfortable like has anybody run into pouch material that was like oh this is like razor blades like does that happen is that you know anyway um the price point though is going to be i mean this could have very well been trending towards eight dollars by the time the northerner got done with applying all its taxes it's tobacco tax it's almost like they took all 50 states taxes and applied them one after another individually so like the can is like five dollars and thirty cents okay cool then at checkout they apply taxes and next thing you know it's eight dollars and 75 cents you're like what just happened um now the snooze and dip is not as bad what really gets you is the chew because their taxes are applied per gram well you get a three ounce bag of chew that's 90 odd grams uh 90 96 97 grams uh and that's when it really starts to cut so this i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna put it down bottom real quick it, it's fine up top i'm just interested to see if i'll have any mouth feel down bottom i am swallowing byproduct here it does not seem it's, it seems to be fine what i like about snooze is if you are in a situation where it has to be completely spit free i'd rather use an actual tobacco product than a little pouch of white powder i just you know yeah it's juice on down bottom now i feel like spitting just because it's juicing up more and this is why snooze is usually used up top so spit isn't really produced wow i'm getting contact feel even on the side of my tongue okay so the stuff's strong the the the, the mint strong is not a lie it's strong it's not like siberian siberia strong it, it's within reason um the packaging is fine as i said all plastic for snooze 
that is uh, th there are a couple brands that have products that have metal lids but that is not the normal by any means that th those are outliers so i mean there's no complaint there the cans are always good because the lid is like basically a half and a lower half they're strong you know this one's got a good catch lid now it's not attached it'll come completely off but it's functional the packaging no it's not you know wow this is the greatest package i've ever seen but on at the other hand there you know there's nothing aesthetically wrong with it per se now these are a little bit bigger Then dip cans. All right, that way. And you just got the sneak peek of the sneak peek. I'm now spitting just because I feel like it. Basically, you, you, I I don't believe you need. There has been a couple products where I was like, you know what? I'm spitting. I'm not swallowing this stuff. And it was the Thunder products which I believe have all been discontinued, and maybe that's why. Um, but I, I don't see any need to spit with this. If it's up top, you're not even going to have to. Uh, if it's down bottom, you probably don't have to. It would be up to you. Um, all in all, probably more than it's worth. Not something I would buy of my own accord, but it, 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 it's all good. I mean... It's my personal preference would lead me away from not buying this, but the flavor's good. It's it's a strong mint. It's got the undertone. Uh, it's not dip tobacco. The dark fired undertone of let's say skull peach. Okay, underneath the peach, it's not that flavor profile, but it does have. The European snus profile. So there is a tobacco flavor underneath the mint. You can tell, but it's not something you're going to really. People that don't use European snus are, aren't going to like. Oh, that's what that is. You're going to have to think about type deal. Uh, all in all, it's good. It's good. I mean, if you wanted to try Swedish snus and you were having to put an order in at the northerner anyway you might as well throw this on the order if you want to try it they have this there's a melon and i'm not quite sure what else at this moment um this i mostly got just to get away from that other company that has basically been all the odins this whole playlist is odins and i was just like i gotta do something else um but i'm glad i did it, it, it it's all right stuff it's a it, it's a good showing from the northerner uh, even if I have issue with their pricing on it. So this has been my review of Jacobson's Mint Strong. They are non-white portions. They're pretty large. There's 20 to a can. I am the Suntai Dippin' Shoe Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.